We've got this little three-year-old mare. We're doing some ground lessons with her. We're starting her under saddle. I just want to show you a few basic things we've taught her and why they're important. First thing I've taught her is that when she keeps her head with me, it's nice and easy and pleasant. I rub her head to show her it's easy and pleasant when her head's with me. The next thing is when I step backwards, I want her to come to me. I want her to keep her head with me. So pressure to move forward has to come from a rear end. That's why I use this long stick. I can apply a little bit of pressure, just touch her on a rump if she's not moving forward. But she knows to keep her head with me. So I'll give her a break. Again, rub her head. People say, I oh, don't rub the horse's head, rub his withers or you'll spoil him or he'll take advantage of you. Just because you're being nice to your horse doesn't mean that he can do what he wants. We're just showing him it's nice and easy and pleasant when his head's with me. It doesn't mean he can push over the top of me. It doesn't mean he can rush away. It means that when his head's with me, it's nice and easy. People say, oh, horses don't rub one another on the head in the wild. Well, no, they don't. And I'm not another horse. I'm a human. So she knows the difference. Every horse finds this pleasurable. Don't ask me why, but I've never met a horse that didn't learn to relax having his head, head rubbed. Very, very important. I ask her to move the other way. Now, I'm asking her to move forward with the back legs following the track of the front. So, any pressure to move forward comes from behind. Okay, the next thing I've taught her from there is to stand, when I stand in this position, she stands and keeps her head with me. Again, can't overdo the rub on the head. You can see she likes that, she's relaxing, she's nearly going to sleep. So for the people who say this doesn't work, just have a look. Work it out for yourself. Her eyes are closing, she's relaxing, she enjoys that. Very relaxing for her. Next thing is, I've taught her when I step back in this position, walk forward around me. So I want her to move forward around me in a circle. I want her to a bend through her body from a nose to a tail in the shape of the circle. Just want her to walk forward in the circle. And again, if I stand out in this forward position, she knows to come to me. There's no doubt in her mind that when she comes to me, it'll be nice and easy and pleasant. She doesn't wonder well, will it be nice for me today, or will he hit me over the head with a flag, or will he jerk on my head to make me run backwards? She knows that every time she comes to me, it's nice and easy and pleasant. So, she's learnt these few simple little lessons. And they form the basis of everything we're ever going to do with a horse. Step back, walk forward. Walk forward around me. Now, we're just working on these things, she's just learning these different things. From there we can ask her to trot. Trot. We've already taught her these things. Walk forward, move forward in the trot. So we want her to move forward, not go up and down on the spot. I didn't ask her to canter, so it's unpleasant. All decisions have to be mine, not hers. It's not up to her when she decides to canter or if she decides to walk. All those decisions have to be mine. Otherwise, she'll start doing what she wants when she wants. Then walk, walk, forward. Now, I didn't ask her to come to me. If I were to stand in, the, in this position, she knows to stand. So she knows the difference of all these little positions. Again, you can't overdo this rubbing her head, showing her that it's nice and easy and pleasant to be with you. Now the reason it's so important to teach her to stand and bring her head round, if I, when I'm handling her legs or getting on her or saddling her for the first time, when I stand in this position, she knows to stand 
keep her head with me so I can pick her leg up if she's a little bit worried. She looks for relief by bringing her head around, not by kicking or rushing away. And then if something were to go wrong, and the horse took fright or kicked at me or whatever, a natural reaction would be for a body to go away from me. So having that head round is very, very important from a safety point of view. Same thing on the other side. So doesn't matter if I'm giving her a needle, treating her, cut or whatever I'm doing. We've got this to fall back on. <coughs> Stand, keep your head around. And again, if something were to go wrong, her body would move away. So very, very important little things.